really need a win, and that'll be it. Well, it's about 10.30. Um, I'm over here in the pine, short pines. I just thinned these pines a few months ago. And uh, back behind me over towards the hardwoods, I heard a bird gobble. And I set up and it wasn't long. There were some birds come in, but there was jakes. There was three jakes. They come right in on me and uh, finally they went on back the way they came. Well, I'm gonna head, I'm gonna grab my own, pick my stuff up and ease back up this ridge. And uh, see if we can get one to answer, maybe get set up on. Hardwoods over here, pine uh, right away, pine these pines. Heck, I've hit the jackpot. I mean, you can't ask for much more. There's two birds over here gobbling about 100 yards away. They've hung up a little bit, but now they're starting to make their way. They get to the edge of the pines, and, and one of them breaks coming straight at me. And then it's all, uh, everything went haywire. I'm wondering what in the world is happening here. This bird is coming at me Mach 40. Now, I, I, I'm not the best turkey caller in the world, uh, but I, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't, I, I about slaughtered my turkey call when this happened. I didn't know what to do. What do you do? I mean, I knew I wasn't that good a turkey caller. I knew something was up. It just, just happened so fast I couldn't, I couldn't react fast enough. Them birds like, went over and set up in them pines and they was way over in them hardwoods and they worked all the way up. And as soon as I seen it step out about 70 yards, big old long beard. I was sitting there getting it in the, trying to find it in the viewfinder. And all of a sudden that stupid thing starts running straight towards me as fast as it can run. And I, I couldn't, I don't know that I even got it on the viewfinder, but um, there was two, uh, two coyotes uh, chasing it. And I knocked that one down, and uh, then the other, another one, the other one was coming, I shot it. Uh, they, they started squalling and, and took off. But the bird flew up. There was two gobblers, I heard two of them. I didn't see the other one. Where? Working that worked that bird for probably about 45 minutes to an hour sitting there and he just and he was he was coming. <sighs> I'm about tired. You talking about pooch mouth now. I, I walked around pooch mouth for about three days after that. Like somebody done slapped me in the mouth. That that's hard to get over. Uh that was a good bird. But speaking of good bird. Opening day, um, Jerry's cousin Phil came down and we were able to go and somehow all three of us fit in the ground blind. It was hard to get in there. Jerry's gained so much weight over the last year. I don't know, we're gonna have to talk to him about putting on a diet or something. He's all, he's up to 115 pounds now and uh, all three of us in that ground blind trying to trying to hunt. It, it was tough cramped in there and it, it was hot, but uh, somehow we managed to do it.
That's awesome. That is awesome. That's what I'm talking about. That is awesome, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to be right there. Yeah. Hey, he stayed out there and stayed out there and stayed out there and he finally quit. And that joker finally he committed and he come in. He's a good one. He's a good one. Big six outdoors. I just want y'all to know I appreciate you inviting me down. One of the best colors in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's, this man here, he stalks them. He, he, oh man, it's, it's unreal what he can do. Check this out, boys. Big six outdoors. Got a three-year-old bird. Got a, got a decent, got a decent beard on him, not nothing. Real, real long. Got some pretty good spurs. Pretty good spurs. It's the first one I've killed in several years. But, uh, he's a good one. Proud of him. Any second, one of them coyotes could have come storming in there and got that bird right out from under him. He, he's lucky. But it must run in the family because the very next morning, Oh, Jerry, he was able to go get on one. He's lucky, too. I mean, that's, that's the two luckiest jokers i ever seen. But this is all for this episode. Tune in next time when you'll see Jerry get on a bird, and I finally get on some, too. And I got two big old long beers working their way in, and one of them's going down.